Alrighty, uh, this button? Okay. Uh, hi? That guy again? Ah, konnichiwa, amigos. I'm so glad to see other people. I thought I'd be wandering this place forever. He intentionally speaks like every language simultaneously so that it's impossible to tell where he's exploring from. Hey, how did you get in here? There's no way you solved all those puzzles. Je ne sais pas. Or something, I don't know. It just, it just happened. Un, un momento. I'm wandering the sewers. The next thing I know, I'm here. I take it this isn't the local hotspot my guidebook promised me it would be. How curious. So, where is it that you'd like to go? If you go down these stairs, you can return to the village proper. Just make sure you don't fall into the large hole by the entrance. Ah, she, she. Uh, that should be enough information to get me there. But may I ask one more favor? All of this talk of stairs has reminded me of a Nazo I know. Answer it for me, por favor. Is he real? You have business on the 8th floor of a 10-story building. It took you 48 seconds to make your way from the 1st floor to the 4th. If you keep moving at the same speed, how long will it take to reach the 8th floor from the 4th? At the same speed? So from the 1st floor to the 4th, so that's only 3 floors. They, they, they want you to... I think they want you to fall for the idea that that four is half of eight, so you're supposed to think you're halfway there and double the number. But you're going from first floor to third floor is three floors, and you're going from the fourth floor to the eighth is four floors. Five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So it's actually further. Blah. So three... Reads 16? 16, 32, 48? Yeah, so you, it takes you 16 seconds per floor. So 16 times 7 is 112, because you have to go for more. Right? The 10 story building is, is lies, that doesn't matter. It's 8th floor. First floor, fourth. Ah! I want you to reach the eighth, fourth, alright, eighth floor from the fourth. So 16 times four is 64. So that's, there we go. I calculated how long the whole trip would take for a second there, and that is extremely incorrect. It's 64 seconds. Unless I'm wrong. Smile for me! Thank you! These are so much faster than the nightmare that was the uh, sledding tile puzzle, but not- I'm sorry, the unblock me puzzle. Grazie. Now I'm ready to go back to the village. Bye. What a strange fellow. Professor, do you suppose that man is human? I believe so. He's an odd one, though, isn't he? I've never seen an explorer with such a poor sense of direction. Stranger still is how he entered St. Mystere. I don't think even he knows how he did it. Perhaps his presence yesterday was another reason why Bruno felt compelled to, to hide the crank. Is he going to show up in all the future games also speaking... Ah! Whatever languages he feels like, basically. Not really finding much. It seems we're faced with another puzzle lock, Luke. Oh, I meant to ask you, but our, our run-in with the Explorer distracted me. How did Simon, you know? All in good time, my boy. First, we need to solve this puzzle here. It looks like quite the challenge. He's deflecting. What, does he want to just hold on to it for long? No! Said Princess in the Box 1, that means there's gonna be more? Tired of leading a sheltered life, this princess is trying to escape her castle. Armed guards, however, are blocking her path. Slide the blocks out of the way to move the red one out of the ex uh, out of the exit to the right. 
Her freedom depends on you. Can you do it? Really? It really is just the same puzzle, but the now the thing you're trying to escape is bigger. That's... Not a new puzzle, it's just a reconfiguration. Alright. Alright. We're gonna want to get you closer to this side, so that we can actually move something into the gap whence we create it. Doon, 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 doon. Doon, 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 doon. Doon, 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 doon. Is any of this progress? Hmm. Basically, I feel like I want to get all the biggest pieces out of the way. As best as I can. There we go, now it's all the way up here at least. Now this is in the way of getting much progress done. one of those things to just skip it? Wasn't the point of like the whatever's I got? How do you use those? The thing they didn't they say that they skip a puzzle for you? Like this is just kind of miserable. I'm not gonna have an epiphany moment, so I'm just kind of like, yeah. Professor, are you telling me that even you can't solve this puzzle? Those things combine. But is the Nautilus good? The Almanite? Is there a hat to go at the hat rack? I feel like these people's meters never move. And I also just don't like this mini game.
Okay, so he says that's just the thing I need. I just don't get how you're supposed to know who ha which one of them would want half these things. I'm gonna the violin back home. Okay, but your meter doesn't move when I give you these things. Okay, it all just flew over there. So I guess you really like your desk? Here's a desk lamp to go with your desk. But the bottle doesn't go there, okay. Well now his meat is full. Well maybe but I need something on top. Uh teddy bear? No. A book? Oh the books go in the library. It's a big chunk of meter progress. Ah. The globe went on the bureau. Said he wanted something for the bureau for the bureau. He seems to like the painting more. Well, they're both higher than they were earlier. Does the Baron just make whoever it is stuck with it unhappy? Well, it goes in the corner for him. So it almost seems to make more sense there. They both like the Almanite. I don't know if I would say it looks like it fits either of them better. So you like TV, so maybe I should give the books to you? How much stuff just moved around? Oops. I feel like neither of them want the statue. They're in a face. keep accidentally replacing the thing I'm moving. Well, they're both higher than they were a minute ago, so I made some progress rearranging things. Perfect for curling up with a good book. He does comment on books. I feel like I should send him the books, even though it makes the other person unhappy. And figure out how to recoup the difference. Oops. No, put that back. He seems to like the globe more. I've made negative progress, but the book might be a good thing to have here in the long term. Charms. 10 out of 51 charm chest completion. 
Pick a charm. Puzzle points obtain 100. What do they do? I thought they said that they would solve puzzles for you? Nah, I think I just gotta suffer through this one. Alright. Fuck it. Do you have advice, game? I really don't like these. You might think that you'd get stuck within moments of starting this puzzle, but as long as you aren't repeating the same moves over and over again, you'll get the block out eventually. The trick is to stop, uh, give you some wiggle room. Try to move the blue block so that both of them are directly above or below the red block. As a matter of fact, hold off on thinking about how to move the red block to the exit until you finish this step. That's what I was trying to do, is I was trying to rearrange the, those blue blocks. There's one trick that should help you move the blocks around. When sliding blocks around, you can't... Uh, see if you can't move two green blocks to the immediate right of the red block, then move the purple block to the right of those. Um... So they're recommending this, essentially, right? Because I think part of my thing is that I need a way to be able to put the purple to the left, but how... It seems impossible. Because it's a 2x2 two two space, right? But there's only ever a 1x2 opening. Or 2x1 or whatever, either one. And once you're trying to slide the purple past the red in either direction, you essentially need the whole space to be open because the, the purple's so tall you can't get any of the greens past it in order to do the trick that we do with all the other items to move around. I don't... Do not see how to do this and it's getting frustrating. I feel like the best I can do is, like... <laughs> you can probably only move it by, like... Part of the way at a time. I think you need to slide the purple over by one. But then after that, you have to slide the. God damn it. That doesn't help. This sucks! It sucks that this is mandatory! Like, there's nowhere else to go. I have to beat this fucking puzzle. I feel so, like, imprisoned whenever I have to deal with, like... It's like, it's like when I, it's like that fucking... I think I played a puzzle game at some point that was like, Oh, these are kind of interesting, and then out of nowhere it's like, Sliding tile puzzle! It's mandatory! You can't continue the game until you do the sliding tile puzzle! I'm like, why do you hate me? Oh, that wasn't even a proper... That wasn't even like a proper puzzle game. That was like a Souls-like. That's why it was even more frustrating, wasn't it? A fucking Souls-like style game was like, Hey, sliding tile puzzle, mandatory. We hate you. That was right proper baffling. The 
this sucks, 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 this sucks. This sucks, this sucks. Gotta hate these. I've already been here for like 20 minutes. And I'm gonna like probably edit this down to be less and then I have to record more to make something else happen this episode so it's not just this the whole time. Is that a progress? Did I progress? Oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god! Go! Yes! It's like frowny face, you solved it wrong somehow. That would lose my entire mind. Wonderful, this is a classic example of a sliding puzzle. Yeah. Why'd you do it? There we are. The door should open now. Amazing as always, Professor. Now about Simon. What exactly happened to the mansion? Did Don Paolo really mer uh, make off with Simon? I'd say so. This is just my theory, mind you, but I think that Don Paolo followed us into the manor. That's when he met Simon, or came across him, as the case may be. I suspect Simon had already collapsed when Don Paolo found his body sprawled on the floor. <laughs> Just like with Raymond. So maybe Simon had also stopped functioning properly, huh? I guess all the robots break down sooner or later, and when they do, Bruno comes to collect them. Then he fixes them here in the basement of the tower. Oh, do you suppose the noises from the tower are actually the sounds of Bruno's machines working? I think you're spot on, Luke. That must be why, why be people began to associate the disappearances with the roaring of the tower. Don't forget that, despite his peculiar appearance, Don Paolo is a scientific genius. Therefore, he probably realized why Simon had stopped moving. If it weren't for the golden apple, Don Paolo likely would have left St. Mysterio right then. I'm sure he was eager to take the robot apart and learn how it worked. And that must be when he decided to disguise himself as Inspector Chelmy, right? That rat made up the whole murder story on the spot. But that's not the whole mystery. Come, Luke. We must keep moving. I'll explain the rest as we go. Princess in a box. I guess the implication is that Chelmy will be in future games, but it'll be the real Chelmy. But that was the fake Chelmy, so we've actually never met Chelmy before in these games. Noise says it's not solved, but I feel- didn't we just explain what this- oh, Rumbling Tower is different from Noise. Gotcha. <clears throat> Doggy! Wow, a hint coin. What are you doing in here, you scamp? Yeah! <laughs> Fancy meeting you here, dearie. How'd you like to try a little puzzle I made up? How on earth did she get up here? Hmm. She must have overtaken us at some point. Funny. I didn't even see the old girl pass us up. Yum, yum, yum. Quit whispering amongst yourselves and try out my puzzle already. It's a humdinger. How did you get here? You've placed one joker and four aces with different suits face down on a table. Use the hints below to determine the position of each card. Okay, so we put... These five cards are down. The club is to the immediate right of the heart. Club is to the right of the heart. Neither the diamond nor the joker is next to the spade. Okay. Neither the joker nor the diamond is next to the club. Ah, we finally have a contradiction. I was like, so far, these are just matching the current configuration. Neither the diamond nor the spade is next to the heart. That's a lot of rules to keep track of. Okay. So... The club's to the right of the heart. The 
Joker and Diamond are not next to the club. Now the Diamond nor Spade is next to the heart. Now the Diamond nor Joker is next to the Spade. Right, the club is to the immediate right of the heart. Clubs to the right of the heart. Now the Diamond nor the Joker is next to the Spade. Neither the Joker nor the Diamond is next to the club. Neither the Diamond nor the Spade is next to the heart. Got it. There we go. It's amazing how quick these puzzles can be when they're not sliding tile puzzles. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh yes, that's the answer all right. Well then, I guess I'll be off. Come visit me sometime. I'm always chewing on my cards or something. I guess she followed us in here. I mean, they're not real. They could just be like surprise spawns. <laughs> they could just like generate in this place and be like, I'm another robot. Hi. Just like I thought. There's another puzzle locking this door. It looks really difficult, Professor. Luke, my boy, haven't you learned by now? No puzzle is without an answer. Now, we simply need to find that answer. Here, come, allow me. Three, 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 three. Use each of the numbers one through nine exactly once to fill in the blanks and complete this equation. Five digit number minus zero digit. Oh, uh, yeah. Five digit minus four digit equals three, 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 three. Okay. This is gonna be a ride. I would like to just put numbers above and below each other that happen to just be that minus that is three, but I imagine we're gonna have to do some carrying. But anyway, nine minus six is three. Eight minus five is three. Seven minus four is three. Yeah. Wouldn't be that easy. <sighs> the two minus one is one, so that's not gonna work out. <sighs> so given that, I think we can safely assume that this has to be a four. I think about this as a as a how how math would play out. Something minus three. So the remainder needs to be three, and it would remove the four. Blah, math mode. Okay, come on, come on, think it through. Like, would it be six minus nine? That would take us to... A remainder of seven in this column, right? Imagining this is 12. So 12 minus nine is three. There we go. I might be able to get away with just... Nope. Yeah, no, 8 minus 5, 6 minus 3, 7 minus 1, no, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah. Ah. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. This one's a bit of a pain. Yeah, 42 minus 9 would be 33. Yeah, okay. Thinking about it that way, that also works. Is minus 2, then minus 7. 
There's just so many combinations this could be. It's probably only one right answer, I'm sure, but like... Doing it piecemeal like this is weird. Can I get away with just giving- just doing one easy one, then try to figure out how to make these two things? Like... Like, 50-something minus... something else? Maybe 81 minus 57? I don't think that's gonna work out. It's 24. Eighty-seven minus fifty-one. It's thirty-six. It's so close. Does it have to be a three-digit number? Or can I get... I just want one of these to be a throwaway. Seventy-one minus thirty-six is thirty-five. Frustratingly close. That would just be three and then six. So it would still be quite a bit off. All right, let's try to do a three digit number. Where the digits on the bottom have to be bigger. Because 7 minus 3 is 4, so if we can make this be more than 1, we might be able to get it down to 33? Yeah, probably need to switch these to get us down by a fair bit more. Three forty-seven. <laughs> oh, am I even using the right numbers? I'm just rapidly trying to do these on my calculator. Because I don't really feel like doing it mentally the whole time. <sighs> 329, I need to increase the value by 4. I don't think I can do... It's changing these changes the tens dramatically. And swapping these would only increase it by one. So it's 331. So we're off by one. We're off by two. Agony. Is there an epiphany here? It's like, is there a, a, a clever way 
to do this. Because the numbers just seems like a nightmare. One thing I could try to do is I can offset the three digits to being over here. So just try to set these ones up to be So the small, probably smaller numbers on the top. Let's see. 421 minus 97 is 324. I can inc increase the number by decreasing this one. So 421 minus 79, 342. Okay, so we can switch these two. 412 minus 79 equals 333. Hey! So then uh, 41286 minus 7953 equals 3333. All right, we're free. There we go. Is there a clever explanation at the end? There's no clever ex- Whenever I really wish for a clever explanation, there isn't one. It's usually like, Yeah, good job, you did a sliding tile puzzle. Congrats, you did... Math. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself for the math. Creativity and persistence, Luke. As long as you have these, no puzzle is beyond your reach. Professor, I was just thinking. Do you remember that picture we found in Lady Dahlia's room? The one of the Baron's late wife, Violet, holding a child who appears to be a young Flora. Of course. That's the one. It's uncanny how much Lady Violet looked like Lady Dahlia. Do you suppose Baron Reinhold's journey, journal entries are we're talking about Lady Dahlia? Sharp thinking, my boy. I believe it went something like this. The craftsmanship of it is simply remarkable. It reminds me of my sweet Violet when she was alive. That's the one that tipped me off. Professor, do you suppose Lady Dolly is actually a robot built to resemble Lady Violet? Just like everyone else? That's entirely possible. Maybe even probable given the circumstances. But if so, what a terribly sad story these entries tell. Do you remember what the next entry said? Laura doesn't like that thing at all. I've seen her run away from it on multiple occasions. Recently she spends more time playing by Dear Violet's grave than anywhere else. I'm sad to say, but I doubt Flora will ever take to it. I can't blame her, as I've changed its memory. I felt terrible forcing the change on Flora, but I just couldn't bear to see it to see it like that anymore. Violet, there you can never uh, there can never be another you. You were my first, my last, and my only. The Baron arranged for the construction of a robot for Flora that was identical to his late wife. But living with a machine that was so similar to his wife must have been too much for him. Thus he decided to change the robot's personality, and so Lady Dahlia was created. As she was originally created as a mother figure, she must have gone through a confusing transition. Huh. Professor, do you suppose these robots feel sadness? Honestly, I'm not quite sure. But I have a feeling that each of these robots has something not unlike a human heart. How? What do you think? I... I hope they do. What level of robot are we dealing with in some sort of ancient past? That's why there was a body. The Flora spent more time with the grave of her- at the grave of her mother than she did, uh with the replacement mother because it just wasn't it was not a good simulation mm -hmm.